what happened was true. The most bizarre series of crimes in America. Quite the strange tale, I must say. That is just as real, just as close, just as terrifying as being there. Even if one of them survives, what will be left of them?
I got a creepy crawl feeling that it's grown up my spine. I got a creepy crawl feeling that it's grown up my spine. I got a creepy crawl feeling that it's grown up my spine. I got a creepy crawl feeling that it's grown up my spine. With my dark box, dark box, dark box, yeah, dark box, dark box, dark box.
shake hands with danger. running. Well, I told him not to touch anything. All right, I guess I wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking? You mean you'll work on engines and machinery and not think of your own personal safety? <laughs>
Welcome to Beyond Reality Radio. Go ahead. Hey, uh, I was calling because a few years ago my dad died, and um, it was terminal, so I had time to plan to go up back home for a month to take care of my mom afterwards. And uh, while I was up there, I was calling out for him to come to me through some dreams or something like that, and he did not. But uh, I started getting calls from my husband back in uh, Lawrence, where we were living at the time. And uh, he was having things like glasses getting knocking, knocked off the uh, counters top. Our cats were in the room with him, so it wasn't them. That happened twice, and then another time he got violently shaken awake while he was alone. Okay. 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 And uh, I was wondering, um, is that... After a loved one passes, is, is that something that they would do, or would another spirit possibly uh, attach themselves to that? Go ahead, KJ, you take this one. Quite the strange tale, I must say. If you have any questions about the events you've just witnessed, well... Shut up, you bitch.